first, then the bat, and give it. Leg before wicket. Watson doesn't like it. He says that he's hit it with his bat. But there was a clear case of ball hitting the pad and then hitting the bat. That was my first thought. They've had to drag Watson off, really, showing his back to the umpire. He thinks he's hit it. He's definitely hit it, but did it hit the pad first? Definitely there's some inside edge, but was it pad first? I think it is. It's a brave decision. It's going on to hit the stump. There was never any doubt in that. Watson thinks he trapped it. The umpire thinks it's hit the pad first. Amir doesn't care. He's got a wicket. He's gone. Gone early. Watson for duck. Australia two for one. Chipped. Will it get to extra cover? Yes, it does. Brilliant from Boom Boom. Great catch to Afridi. It just hung in the air long enough for him to make his ground first on foot and then in the air. In the end, I think he got two hands on it. Full delivery from Amir, and it was looked like it was right off the bottom of the bat. Here goes Afridi. Way to his right. Yep, two hands. And he celebrates accordingly. Here I am. <laughs> so, this is game on. The dangerous Cameron White has got to go. Page 17, Australia, 109 for five. Stumps everywhere. Steve Smith looking towards square leg or mid wicket. Bit of a shake of the head. Here it is, full and straight. And just missed it. He tried to hit it hard. He is unorthodox. Trying for that area out on the onside. But uh, another wicket down. Six now. Australia, 132. So young Steve Smith makes his way off. One step closer, Pakistan. Pressure on Tim Payne, completely different role from the 50 over game. He opened the batting, he had plenty of time in 20 overs. It's about picking your bat up, no time, get it hit now. Greg Blewett told us in those 50 over games that he had a very successful 20 over season in Australia. He needs to uh, continue that form here this evening. Smith just going across the line a little bit too much. Sounds obvious now. He's probably aiming mid wicket, trying to drag it in the end. Looked ugly. Oh, use your peel. I'm gone. Look full, it looks straight. Left arm, it does a trick. Pakistan have got one. The crowd are into it, and once again, it's that man, Amir, one of the chief destroyers yesterday, and he strikes again early here in game two. Is this just going down? May have hit him on the back leg. Oh, I think that may be sliding past the leg stump, or is it just clipping? Yeah, just going past, so that's a, a fortunate decision there for Pakistan. Not so good for David Warner and the Australians, but he doesn't care, the young man. Got his first wicket for today, but Warner's got to go. And Australia have lost their first wicket for 17. Oh, ball he jumped on. Oh, big wicket, huge wicket. Michael Clark, 30 from 17. But the youngster, 18-year-old, climbs in. Yeah, this crowd is loving it here at Edge Baston. Every wicket goes down. They are on their feet, blowing their horns, and Michael Clark would be frustrated. Got off to a good start. Bit of a collision there. Well, that's all right. Bit of an apology from the bowler, but Michael Clark, the skipper, on his way for a promising 30, and Australia 33 for three. On the boundary, square of the wicket. 
Oh, beauty. Going down the leg side for me. Oh, no, he's given. Oh, he took a long time. That's that road. Fall and straight. Another LBW. Johnson's gone. Well, he's not for going, Mitchell Johnson. He's hung around for a long time. This swung late from Mohamed Amir. He really is a stunning talent, this lad. Full and how straight? Oh, not quite straight enough for me. Swinging down the leg side. Perfect length. Late, late swing. An appeal from the bowler. You can't blame bowler and keeper for appealing. It's been upheld. Johnson has gone and Australia have gone, I think. 139 for nine. 